Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by for another holiday DIY. In this video, I am going to show you how I put together two super inexpensive bowls with a 100% materials from the Dollar Tree, and they were inspired by bowls that I saw online from Z Gallery. So if you're interested in how I did this, just stay tuned and I will show you all the steps and all the materials needed. This bowl couldn't have been any easier. I just had to affix all the glass gems onto the bowl in rows, and that just kept everything looking nice and straight and uniform, and I love how this one turned out. You're just gonna continue gluing until you have the entire bowl covered except for the bottom. That's where you're going to affix the little tea light holder so you can leave that space blank. Now you may wonder why I glued the tea light holder on upside down. It was because I decided in case I ever want to deconstruct this bowl and use the tea light holder for something else, I didn't want any of the paint from it to come off. So I decided just to glue the bottom to play it safe. The glue dries really quickly and I was surprised that it held so strongly. It picked up this bowl, which is a little weighty at this point with all the gems, but it picked it up just fine and it was perfect. I just thought I would film a little example of one way to use this little bowl and that is setting it on my bar cart and using it as a mini ice bucket. So I thought that was a super cute way to style it and since it is a stainless steel bowl you can get it wet and it is food safe and you're good to go. So this is just one way to utilize it and I wish I would have been making myself a fun holiday cocktail but this was only for video purposes. If you guys would like to see more ways of how I style my bar cart just let me know in the comments. I'm not gonna lie, I found this bowl a little bit trickier to assemble just because the diamond wrap is straight and your bowl is curved so it doesn't really want to go on nice and evenly. So instead of gluing it around, I decided to cut the diamond wrap into strips and glue them on vertically. It took a little bit more time and effort and you will still have to trim some overlapping, but in the end, I thought that it looked a lot neater and a lot cleaner.
please subscribe and check back for more videos. I have more DIYs to come and I'm also going to be doing a follow-up video on other ways I utilize these bowls and style them around my home. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody's doing well and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.